My friends, hello and welcome. I'm so thankful that you are here for our live stream. And if you're watching the replay, welcome, welcome. So thankful that you're here. So before we get started, I want to know, are you taking the GED test or the HiSET test? Or are you just here for some other reason? So put a comment in the chat and let us know which test you're taking, GED, HiSET, or some other test. So for this video here today, we're going to be focusing on multiplying and dividing integers. So sometimes people think integers and it kind of makes them a little nervous, right? Integers are really just positive and negative numbers, but it can be a little bit tricky. And so it's really important that you know which one you're taking the GED, or sorry, I'm sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting confused. I'm looking at, I'm looking at the, the notes here. We've got someone taking the high set, someone else saying hello, everyone. Thank you for your comments in, in uh, the chat here. So again, sometimes integers, it, it's just positive, negative numbers, but you really want to make sure that you know the difference. Okay. And so we're going to be focusing on multiplication and division, which is actually a little bit easier than addition and subtraction. So do let me know if you want me to do another live spring, a live stream and where we go over addition and subtraction of negative numbers. Okay. And right now as I'm filming it, it's winter and sometimes, you know, the temperature gets a, gets a little chilly below zero and that's actually the perfect time to add and subtract integers. So looks like we've got a couple more people here for the high set, someone for the GED. Great. Um, excel at the high school, um, getting a high school diploma. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, thank you, Mark. I appreciate that. Okay. So I want, I'm going to teach you something that I need you to memorize, okay? There aren't too many things here that you need to memorize, but this is going to be one of the things that you've just got to know, okay? So again, this is just going to be for multiplying and dividing our integers, our positive and negative numbers. So I want you to think about, we have here a positive times a pot, whoops, times a positive, okay? So a positive times a positive, we know this, right? We learned this a long time ago. Whenever you multiply a positive times a positive, what do you get? A positive, right? Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go a negative times a positive. So this is where I want you to remember a negative number times a positive number is going to give you a negative number, okay? And this thing goes with division, right? Because we're doing addition, or division and multiplication. Okay, so now we have a negative times a positive equals a negative, and now we're gonna switch it, so we're going to go a positive times a negative is going to be what? A negative, okay? All right, now here's where it gets tricky. When we go a negative times a negative, what are we going to get? A positive, okay? So here's, here's the way I remember it, okay? It's kind of silly. So you have a negative number and another negative number, right? These are like two little negatives. You put them together and you get a positive, <laughs> okay? Uh, today, one of my students was telling me, so you have a, a you know, a, a negative person that doesn't really like you and another negative person that doesn't really like you and you put them together and they, you know, jam out because they both don't like you, right? It's a little bit of a negative thought, but it, um, whatever works, whatever makes it stick in your head. So a negative times a negative equals a positive. And again, the same thing if you are doing division, okay? Addition, or sorry, uh, uh, multiplication and division. They're the same, they follow the same rules. I like to call them buddies, okay? So let's take, let's take some of this and, and practice. So I need two numbers. I'm gonna come up with two random numbers and I'm going to have, let's say four times five, okay? So four times five, we know what that's gonna be, right? 20. 
Now, if you're not too keen on your multiplication, I highly recommend that you memorize the ones through the tens. And I actually have a couple of videos out there where you can watch these, okay? So make sure that you memorize your multiplication. And I have several tricks in those videos where I teach you how to do it. But practice, get some note cards, practice over and over. Make sure that you have your ones through your tens down as far as multiplication goes. All right, we're going to take the same numbers, and I'm going to go negative 4. Whenever you see a, a negative, it's kind of like the minus, but in this case, it's a, it's a negative. So a negative 4 times a positive 5. And I know by looking right above me, is it going to be 20? No, right? It's going to be negative 20, okay? So let's do another one. We're going to switch up our numbers, and this time, let's go 6 times negative 4. Okay, so 6 times negative 4, I have a positive and a negative, and so I know that it's going to be negative because there's one negative in there, right? So my 6 times negative 4 is going to be negative 24. And we're going to do two completely different numbers now. We're going to say negative 8 times negative 8, okay? And I know that a negative times a negative is going to be a positive, right? So we're going to have positive. Here's a fun little way to remember 8 times 8. 8 and 8 dropped on the floor. Pick them up. Now it's 64, okay? So 64. And it's going to be positive, even though they're both negative numbers. Okay, so I want you, like I said, to memorize this, okay? There's not a lot that you're going to have to memorize for the GED or the high set test, but memorize this, okay? So give me, give me a heart, give me a, give me a sign that you're going to memorize this. Yes, yes, I love it. Look at all those hearts. You guys have got this, okay? So... Um, I'm going to erase this, and while I do, I want you to type in the chat, where are you from? I love geography. I love to see where people are from. So comment down below and tell me where you're from. And I will do a quick erase. All right, looks like we've got New Hampshire, Maine, Texas, California. Oh, I love this. We've got... Oh, Mexico. Welcome from Mexico. I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, California, Long Beach, um, New York, New York. This is fantastic. We have people from all over the country, all over the continent. Really welcome. I'm so glad that you are all here. New York City, going for your GED. That's fantastic. I'm so proud of all of you for working so hard, for being here, for making this commitment in your life. I mean, this is this is huge. Did you know that on average, once you get your GED or your high set, that your income on average will go up $9,000 a year? $9,000. I mean, that is huge. That is $750 a month. And now this is on average, so maybe you'll make more, maybe you'll make a little less, but just imagine the impact in your life if you made an extra $750 a month, that's huge. And you are here committed to doing this. I am so proud of you. And I hope that you are proud of yourself as well. Okay, it looks like we've also got North Carolina and another one from New York. Oh, um, that's encouraging. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's encouraging too. That is so motivating that sometimes hearing that financial impact, right? Okay, so let's do a little bit of practice. Like I said, Addition and subtract or addition and subtraction are buddies, but we're doing multiplication and division. They're buddies, they're they're gonna be the same thing. We've got another New York, Louisiana. That's fantastic. If you haven't already, comment and tell us are you taking your GED, your high set, or some other test? Okay. All right, so we're going to take here negative 15 divided by negative 5. All right, if you know the answer, type it in the chat. So negative 15 divided by negative 5. 
Those are both negative numbers, right? And when we have a negative and a negative, we put them together and it's a positive, right? So it's going to be positive three. Yes, yes, I love seeing those answers. Okay, let's, oh, I, it's like a waterfall, the answer is coming in, I love it. Okay, let's do another one. So we have here negative 20 divided by five. Okay, type the answer in the chat. Negative 20 divided by five. Now one is a negative and one is a positive. And when one is a negative, I know the answer is going to be what? Negative. So I'm gonna put the negative in right here. 20 divided by five, negative 20 divided by five is going to be negative four. Look at those answers. Fantastic, no worries. I know that sometimes the chat is a little delayed. No big deal, I'm just thankful that you're, you're here, you're communicating. If you're typing in the answers, it's going to be connecting in your head just a little bit more. Okay, now let's do some positive numbers, okay? And we're just doing our basic multiplication here, but we're practicing the negatives and the positives, okay? So this time, let's do a little multiplication. So let's go four times negative seven. All right, so sometimes when, I th when I'm like, oh, what is four times negative seven? Sometimes what I do in my head is I go, all right, I know that four, or that I know that two times seven is 14, and then I just double that. So if you ever need to do that, just, just double it. 14 plus 14 is 28. But look at that, we've got a couple answers already. We have a negative, and so the answer is negative 28 because we have a negative and a positive, right? And uh, I always like to joke that mathematicians are lazy and they're not going to always put the number in. Like, notice how we have the negative seven, right? We're not going to put like a positive four, right? We, we, mathematicians just don't do that because sometimes, sometimes they're a little lazy, okay? But one thing that they sometimes do when there's a negative, they, they don't like to have two, two things right next to each other like this, okay? So sometimes they'll put like that in quotes to show you, okay, we're taking the, we're timesing this unit, okay? All right, let's do another one here. Uh, we're going to go six times, let's see, negative three. Okay, six times negative three. So we have a positive and a negative, right? So positive times a negative means we're going to get a negative, right? So six times negative three, type your answer in the chat, negative 18, yes, you guys got it. So remember, a negative times a positive is going to be a negative. Okay, let's do one more like this. Okay, so I'm going to go negative five times negative five. So I have a negative times a negative. What's my answer going to be, negative or positive? A positive, right? So we just have 25. Again, so important that you know this. Okay, love it, love it, so great. Okay, this time I'm gonna trick you, okay? I wanna see if you can, if you can get my, my little uh, tricky one. We're gonna multiply three numbers, okay? So I'm going to go negative two times four times five, okay? Negative two times four times five. What is the answer? So first we have to decide, is it negative or is it positive? So here we have a negative number, a positive number, and another positive number, right? And when I do things like this, I kind of like to break them up, okay? So I actually go four times five is, is 20, right? And then I'm gonna multiply that by two, right? So let's just focus on that first. So I have 40, but I have two positive numbers and one negative number, right? So is my answer gonna be positive or negative? Negative, right? So we have negative 40. All right, so um, as I'm erasing this, I want you to type in the chat, what is another math concept that you think I should do on a live session like this? Or do you have maybe a grammar question or something like that 
doing an interactive lesson just as if you were in my class. So tell me, type in the chat, what would you like me to do more live streaming sessions about? And I will just erase this. Okay. All right, we're going to do a couple more here. Okay, so we have algebra, factorization, algebra, simplifying. Fantastic. I love these ideas. Thank you for sharing. Keep them coming. Other things that you would like, math or language, those things are a little bit easier to do on, on the whiteboard. Sometimes reading, science, social studies are a little bit more challenging to do on the whiteboard, but type in the chat. Tell me what you would like. More algebra. More algebra. I love it. Love it. Okay. So let's do a couple more. So we're going to go with negative two times three times negative two. Okay. What is the answer? Oh my gosh, we have a celebration. We have, um, we have a GED graduate. Look at this. Um, I got my GED 100%, 100%. Thank God. I am so happy for you. Congratulations. We're over here doing the happy dance for you. That is phenomenal. I love hearing success stories. So let me know whenever you, whenever you pass the test or whenever you pass the whole thing. I am just over here cheering for you. That is fantastic. And all of you stay purely persistent and you will get there. Okay, back to our math problem. <laughs> okay, so I have a negative times a positive times a negative. And again, sometimes, I guess not sometimes, usually they like to go with put, putting the negatives in parentheses. Okay, so let's just not even focus on the negatives and positives. Let's go, we have two times three is six, and six times two is 12. So now, let's think here. Is it going to be a positive 12, or is it going to be a negative 12? All right, so we have one negative, one positive, and another negative. So really, we have two negatives going on. Right, so we have two negatives, put them together. It's a positive, yes, you got it, you got it. The answer is going to be a positive 12. Okay, let's do uh, another one here. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go four times negative three times negative uh, two. <laughs> okay, so four times three, or you could go three times two. It doesn't really matter when you're multiplying. It doesn't matter which, which way you go. Uh, so I'm gonna go three times two, which is six, and then six times four is 24. That's the way my head works sometimes. Okay, so we're gonna go 24, and now we have to decide. Is it positive or negative? Yes, it looks like you all are getting it. The answer is positive 24, because here we have our negative, one negative and another negative, they come together and they make it positive. Is there a spider crawling on my wall? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe it's my earrings. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So last one. Negative two times negative two times negative two. Okay. What is our answer here? Two times two is four. Four times two is six, okay? So I have six. I have a negative times a negative times a negative. What is it going to be? Negative two times negative two, that turns it into a positive. And then looks like we have a positive times a negative is a, it's, sorry, it's eight, it's eight. Um, I'm adding them together. Thank you for correcting me. Teachers make mistakes, so give me some, thanks for giving me some grace. Okay, so the answer is negative eight. Um, nice, nice work. Okay. All right. If, are, are there any questions about, about this technique or about anything else? Maybe questions about me or questions about the GED or the high set. Um, I'll take a couple questions here and then we'll call it a night. So ask me away if you have any questions. A lot of times people ask me, what's the difference between GED and high set? I'm like one of the only 
teachers out there on YouTube that's really talking about high set, right? They're honestly just two different tests, but they give you the same result, which is your high school equivalency certificate or your high school diploma in some states. Uh, it, I like to think about it like Kleenex versus Puffs, okay? So they are really just going to be uh, two different brands, okay? So uh, that's uh, that's it, just two two different brands. Okay, so minus two negative numbers. I'll do that, okay, Mark? Uh, I'm going to make it kind of quick. I think that we need to be doing, I think I need to make an entire live. It's actually a lot easier to multiply and divide integers, positive, negative numbers, than it is to add and subtract. I often think that adding and subtracting is kind of like playing with your mind, okay? And you have to really think about it a little bit differently. But let's do a, let's do an addition and, or let's, uh, let's subtract two negative numbers. Okay. So we're going to turn this into life, okay? Real, real life. Okay. So here we have, um, let's say negative two minus three. Okay. So I like to think about the number line. Okay, so I'm going to draw a little number line right here, and I'm going to call this zero, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is negative one, negative two, three, four, five, and six. So what I'm doing is I'm starting out at negative two. I'm starting out right here. And whenever we add numbers, we go to the right. But whenever we subtract numbers, we go to the left. Okay. So here I'm going, I'm subtracting. So I'm going to go over three, one, two, three. So my answer ends up being right here at negative five. So think about it like this. Let's say you borrow $2 and then you, maybe you're having lunch. You borrow this is going to be a cheap lunch, right? You borrow $2 and then you're like, oh, I actually need three more dollars. So then you borrow three more dollars. And how much money have you borrowed? Five dollars. Okay. And so that's what you have to do. Again, it's kind of tricking the brain a little bit to do it like that. Let's do one more kind of like this. And like I said, I'll do an entire live on this so that we can do it. Um, there's a question here. How often will I be doing lives? Well, comment below. How often would you like me to do live lessons like this? Comment below. Tell me. Tell me. How often would you prefer it? Okay. We're switching markers. And this time we're going to go, we're going to go positive. We're going to say positive 4 minus 7. Okay. So positive 4 minus 7. And you're like, what? What? You can't subtract 7. Four from seven, right? Well, yes, actually you can. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this over. We're gonna, okay, so here I have four. So I have one, two, three, four. So I'm starting off right here at a positive four and I'm going to work my way over. Okay, so positive four minus seven. And remember, when we add, we go to the right. And when we subtract, we go to the left. So I'm going to subtract seven. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My answer ends up being three, and I'm kind of mixing my colors here. So the answer is negative three. Another way that you can look at this is you can say, all right, four minus seven, or let's actually switch that. Let's go seven minus four is three. But then you put the negative on it because this one right here, negative seven, the seven is negative. The larger number is negative. And so that's why you, uh, that's why we do the, the negative there. All right, my friends. So it looks like you're interested in a couple times a week. I promise that I will do uh, YouTube lives as, as much as I can. I, I'm going to try and aim for once a week, maybe sometimes a little bit more 
then once a week and, you know, maybe I'll miss a week here or there, but I will do my best to offer YouTube lives as much as I can because I think that it's, it's actually really fun. I love teaching and this is almost like I'm teaching a, a class for you guys, even though we're not communic, even though I can't hear you, you're just typing in the chat. So my friends, I'm going to end it here. Thank you all so much for being here. God bless you. I know that you are going to get this. You're going to get your GED. You're going to get your high set. You are amazing. So keep up the good work. And most importantly, make sure that you believe in yourself. That's actually the key to getting your high set or your GED or really accomplishing any goals in life is you've got to believe in yourself. Thank you all. Have a beautiful evening and I will catch you in the next video, especially the next live video. Peace, my friends.